Good morning friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to study bar bending schedule of piles footing or you can also call as piles foundation. So let us start it. So you might be thinking what is a pile foundation? Before that, I will let you know what is a foundation. Foundations provide support to the structure, transfer the loads from the structure to the soil. But the layer at which the foundation transfers the load shall have an adequate bearing capacity and suitable settlement characteristics. There are several foundation types depending on the various considerations and the depending conditions are water level their soil conditions, the type of load from the superstructure. Uh, you might also consider the noise and vibration sensitivity or available availability of resources, time frame of the project and even cost. Broadly speaking, foundations can be classified as shallow foundations and deep foundations. Shallow footings are usually used when the bearing capacity of surface soil is adequate to carry the loads imposed by the structure. On the other hand, deep foundations are usually used when the bearing capacity of the surface soil is not sufficient. I again repeat, is not sufficient to carry the loads imposed by the structure. So, the loads have been transferred to the deeper layer with the soil layer which has higher bearing capacity and in these deep structure uh, the deep, deep foundations one of them is pile foundation pile foundation is a kind of deep foundation and is actually a slender col uh, column or a long cylinder like structures which is made of steel concrete timber or anything we will for study it further these are used to support the structure and transfer the load at desired depth either by end bearing or skin friction so let's study what is pile foundation in detail here i will show you some pictures or photographs of the pile foundations it might get repeated also so just don't mind um, you might be thinking what are the use of pile foundation why the pile foundation are used we have studied where it is used now we will study why it is used when the groundwater table is high we use pile foundation for heavy and ununiform loads from the superstructure imposed then we used pile foundation other types of foundation are costlier or not feasible like raft foundation or any other type. When the soil at shallow depth is compressible or which has uh, no capacity to hold loads for longer time. When there is a canal or deep drainage system near the structure. When the soil excavation is not possible up to the desired depth due to poor soil condition. These are the problems where we use pile foundation. There are different types of pile foundation. There are many types of found, uh, pile foundation. You can google it. But today we are going to study about the concrete piles. While classifying concrete piles, there are two types. The first one is precast piles and the second one is cast in situ so today the plan we are going to refer is cast in situ concrete pile so this type of pile is constructed by boring of soil up to a desired depth and then depositing freshly mixed concrete in that place and letting it cure down this type of pile is constructed either by driving a metallic shell to the ground and filling it with concrete 
and leave the shell with the concrete or the shell is pulled out while concrete is poured. The, of course, there is a in situ con uh, pile casting, then there might be some advantages, there might also be some disadvantages. So, let us study about that too. The advantages of cast in place concrete piles are the shells are lightweighted, so they are easy to handle. Length of piles can be varied from side to side, and the shells can be assembled at site. No excess enforcement is required, no possibility of breaking during installation. If there are advantages of pile foundation, there might be disadvantages also. Because if there is something positive, there is a negative part also. So, disadvantages of pile, found, uh, uh, pile concrete piles in cast in situ place is installation requires careful supervision and quality control. Needs sufficient place on site for storage of the materials used for construction. It is difficult to construct cast in situ piles where the underground water flow is heavy. Bottom of pile may not be symmetrical. If the piles is unreinforced and uncasted, the pile can fail in tension. If there is act of uplifting force. Okay, so here we have seen some images of uh, pile foundation. You might get understand what is pile foundation. So let's start with the view of learning bar bending schedule of pile foundation. So here it is the standard format for the bar bending schedule of any type of element whether it is pile footing or retaining wall or beam column slab we will use this format but not with staircase we'll discuss in another video then uh, what are for different elements the bar bending schedule for different elements okay so this is the basic uh, standard format let me explain you here it's the description part in description, we have to give detail about uh, what are the uh, type of bars provided. It is vertical bar, it is stiffness bar, helical ring, stirrup, anything. It is provided in description part. The diameter of bar, whether we are providing 20 mm bar or 30 mm bar, th uh, sorry, 25 mm bar, 32 mm bar whatever the diameter of bar we are providing we have to mention under this column next is the shape of bar uh, what is the shape of bar we are providing and what uh, what are the different things we'll mention over here the next one is number of bars in a circular ring there are 10 numbers of bars or 12 number of bars we'll mention it here next one is length what is the length of one bar will mention under this then the total length means the number of bars multiplied by the length of one bar then the total length of the all the bars provided over there will be counted then weight per meter weight per meter what is weight per meter this is the mass we have a formula for this mass is equal to volume into density we will calculate the formula for this at the end is d square l divided by 162 when we are on that i will explain you how that formula came from then the total weight part here we will multiply the total length with weight per meter with which will give the total weight now we will this these uh, till this we have calculated the weight of one pile if there are 10 piles 100 piles 1000 piles will uh, give the number will multiply with the number of piles the weight of one pile and will get total weight so after getting total weight of uh, steel required in all the piles will sum, sum up 
uh, like the main bar we have provided of 20 mm, the stirrups we have provided of 10 mm. So we'll write accordingly. Here, if comes uh, 100 ton of uh, 20 mm, so we'll provide here uh, like uh, is equal to this value 20 mm, 100 ton. If stirrups uh, part goes to 8 mm, then 8 mm. 50 ton will provide like that and uh, will sum up the all the values at the end and note down the total quantity that uh, uh, 20 mm bars are used 1000 kgs or uh, 200 ton in all the piles or you can also say uh, 8 mm bars are used 50 ton 10 mm bars are used 35 ton to give the orders or for the estimation for further we use this standard format so let's start with it okay so first of all i want to share some information about pile foundation here we have a plan for pile foundation so uh, let me tell you what are the basic things you need to learn in pile foundation the first one if you get any drawing like this first thing you have to go to this part what is written in the title thing it is the excavation plan so let us study this plan uh, these are the revised pi uh, pile layout plan which is numbered as r3 so let's study the plan the next thing we have to see is the specifications provided over here the general notes we need to study these uh, while studying a uh, drawing the second cheese are uh, things are the cover provided like uh, they had provided putting of 50 mm cover clear cover uh, the clear cover of 50 mm at raft the clear cover of 40 mm at column 25 at beam 50 at piles and 20 at slab 25 at retaining wall this is the main thing you have to look at the pcc is provided at m10 or m15 you have to take care of that the concrete mix used is m25 over here the steel used is fe 500 grade according to indian standards okay so let's study with the plan uh, so here the plan is given you can see the boundary outline the, here the piles are shown uh, above these the columns are laid uh, in the plan section uh, you can see that the red ones are the columns and the white circles are the piles uh, just for naming part the they have named column as c1 c2 c3 c4 and the rest of the columns as shear walls as sw1 sw2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 we will study that later so let's start it there are two types of piles over here first is load bearing piles and the second one is compound piles Compound piles are provided under compound wall or the retaining wall. Why these are uh, these piles are provided? Because the structure is constructed uh, is constructed where the surrounding structures are older than more than fifty years. So while digging out or while excavation there might be possibility that the older structures at the neighborhood might collapse so they had provided the boundary piles or the compound piles over here to restrict the soil from collapsing when it uh, the excavation is done or when the con uh, when the building is being constructed okay so these are the piles these are the section of pile we will uh, study in deep depth you can uh, see the section from top the piles look like this 
and when you see at uh, when we cut the piles in a horizontal way you can see this okay so these are the section of raft actually they had done like that they had uh, dug for the pile they had driven the piles they have done the raft for that uh, these are the load bearing piles above load bearing piles the raft is done bs1 bs2 and above bs1 the columns are placed or constructed and uh, if we talk about the uh, compound piles then they are there with the retaining wall to support the retaining wall you can see vs1 over here okay these are the normal dimension we will study these in future times when we are going to schedule a bar bending for raft foundation okay so let's do it there are some basic calculations in pile foundation so let's start with that i had done with this so here is a cylindrical shape uh, we have uh, if we see the pile from front uh, there is a structure like this the diameter of pile is 750 mm we have closer ring on both the end on here and and here we i have used long break line okay the center to center distance is given uh, as 75 mm it's they were given in the drawing uh, we have uh, we got the spiral ring over here and a stiffener ring a stiffener ring is provided at a distance of 1.5 meter center to center and the spiral uh, ring, uh, stirrup is provided at a pitch of 150 mm center to center okay if we cut the section at horizontal we see uh, the radius of stirrup and uh, of the spiral stirrup is 10 mm around and the diameter and this way you can see it okay so these are the basic uh, dimensions that we get from the drawing like the pitch the clear cover the diameter of pile the section the long break line stiffener ring etc 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 okay so let's start it first of all we will found, find the cutting length of spherical stirrup for getting the cutting length there is a formula given cutting length is equal to n under root of c square plus p square where n is equal to number of turns of the helical stirrup that is the number of pitch in the total pile length you can see over here the number of pitch we get in the total pile length is equal to n means the number of rounds the spherical stirrup has took and c is the circumference of helical stirrup means the length of helical stirrup of uh, the length of one helical stirrup that is the c and p is the pitch of helical stirrup p means the uh, length between the two adjacent uh, helical stirrup okay uh, while adding this to a formula the given length of pile is 15 meter diameter of pile is 0.75 clear cover is 75 mm that is 0.075 meter the pitch is 150 mm we have seen above the diameter of helical stirrup is 10 mm we have seen that above so the n number of turns is equal to the length of pile divided by pitch plus number of closer rings i had mentioned over here that we have provided two closer rings at the top and at the bottom so uh, the length of pile is 15 meter the pitch is 150 mm and two closer rings we have got 102 total numbers of turns now we will find the circumference of helical stirrup the helical stirrup circum the basic formula for circumference of a circle is 2 pi r where r is equal to half the diameter of pile minus 2 times clear cover 
minus diameter of spherical uh, we can say spherical bar divided by 2 now i will tell you how it come the diameter of pile is equal to half the diameter of uh, the diameter of helical sphere uh, radius of i'm sorry the radius of helical sphere is equal to half the diameter of uh, pile minus clear cover the purple boundary we have minus it and then minus diameter of this blue boundary spherical stirrup okay Div uh, ma minus two times uh, divided by two because that's the diameter and we are finding out radius so while putting the values we get radius of 297 mm that is 0 0.297 meter while putting the uh, values in the circumference formula we get 1.866 meter the circumference now we are putting all the values in the main formula that is the cutting length of helical stirrup after getting the cutting length of helical stirrup as 190.34 meter we will continue to the uh, finding of number of lap required in helical stirrup so the number of uh, laps are calculated cutting length divided by the length of single bar the uh, what is the length of single bar and what are the laps laps are the overlapping provided while joining two bars the length of single bar is 12 meter as per IS codes um, we provide 10 or 12 meter bars it might differ from country to country and uh, the calculated cutting length we have calculated divided by 12 that means 15.86 means in one helical stirrup there are approximately 60 laps how we calculate the length of lap is 50 times diameter 50 times diameter of bar means if the diameter of bar is 25 mm then 50 into 25 divided by 1000 to get that in meter that is around 1250 1.25 meter approx okay so let's move forward the total length of helical stirrup bar required in a pile is the calculated length of pile bar okay plus length of all the piles how we will uh, all the laps how we will calculate the length of all the laps the number of laps into length of one lap we have discussed the length of one lap uh, one lap is 50d to uh, so the diameter of that lap is 10 mm and the number of piles are 16 so the total length we got is 198.34 meter moving forward now the helical st uh, strip part is done now we will do uh, find the stiffness ring okay i have mentioned over here there there are the stiffness ring provided at a distance of 1.5 meter okay so while calculating stiffness ring we'll see that the formula came is number of stiffness ring is equal to length of pile divided by spacing of ring plus one there's a simple formula uh, for calculating number of main bar number of stirrups we use this formula length of the total element divided by spacing of each ring plus one so the number of stiffener ring is 11 now we'll calculate the vertical reinforcement of uh, piles uh, first of all we'll uh, understand this diagram the total length of piles is 15 meter right the cover provided in piles from top and bottom is 50 mm that is total from top and bottom is 100 mm that is 0 0.5 meter 
So the reason behind 14.9 is equal to total 15 meter minus 0.1 meter. That is 100 mm. Okay, and the 0.3 meter provided is the development length. The development length provided as uh, um, in every pile uh, as 0.3 from top as well as from bottom. Okay, um, let me show you over here. Look, uh, it's uh, the development length is shown from every uh, from every bar towards center. So these are the development lengths provided. Okay, uh, so the total length of one bar will be uh, f uh, first of all it is fourteen point nine plus two times zero point three plus one okay so why have to why we have took one meter we'll study it first of all we'll learn how what are the number of laps provided in this there will be number of lab because the depth is 15 meter and we have studied that one bar is equal to 12 meter long so of course there is a lap okay so uh, 15 divided by 12 is 1.25 mean approximately there is a one lap single lap is provided in each vertical bar what is the length of that lap 50 times d we have studied it earlier 50 times into 20 mm because uh, here we have given the main bar diameter is 20 mm so 50 times 0 0.02 that is 1 meter now we will find the length of one bar we have studied here 14.9 how it, uh, how we get that 15 meter the total length minus clear cover 14.9 plus 2 times 0 0.3 the two development lengths plus 1 the length of lap so we get the length of one bar is equal to 16.5 meter so the total number of vertical bars what are the total number of vertical bars 10 times 16.5 means around 165 meter total length and the total number is 10 how we get this number you can count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Okay, there are 10 main bars. So, let's move forward. Now you might be thinking these are the basic calculations. How we will amplify these in the bar bending schedule? Because our main topic was how to uh, we have to learn the bar bending schedule of pile footing that also equals to the reinforcement details of the pile footing right so let us start with this first of all uh, actually I want to say sorry for my typing speed please don't mind first of all we'll uh, write some description over here okay uh, I had told you before there are two piles two types of piles the load bearing piles and the compound piles so the length of compound piles is 15 meter and the length of load bearing piles is as we calculated from 15 minus 7.4 is around 7.6 meters okay so will move accordingly here two different pile chart will be made one of uh, one piles of uh, 15 meter height and another piles of 7.6 meter heights correct so first uh, we'll say piles of 15 meter height if the pile of 15 meter height then what the pile size will be what is the diameter of pile we'll come to this okay the diameter of pile is 750 mm means 0 0.75 meter okay length of pile 
if we are taking the compound piles then the length is equal to the depth that is 15 meter okay uh, uh, we'll uh, calculate the pitch it's given over here mm, where it is yeah the pitch is 150 mm that means 0 0.15 meter 0 0.15 meter numbers these are the numbers of piles how much it is uh, while calculated from the drawings uh, each and every pile it is given in the schedule always but uh, while calculating from here we got to know about 151 piles are there okay from the drawing the data is given from the drawing okay and these are the piles now we will calculate each and every bars we have calculated over there in a shortcut method in the bar bending schedule there are two types of bar bending schedule i didn't mention it before the bar bending schedule made with the drawing and the bar bending schedule made after the steels are placed at site the bar bending schedule made before uh, the steels are placed that is with the help of drawings is the estimated bar bending schedule it's not the perfect or the corrected one the second after getting the cutting length of the reinforcement after getting uh, after the steels are placed at site and getting the cutting length of each and every reinforcement and multiplying it and taking out the bar bending schedule and the reinforcement quantities that bar bending schedule is the accurate one we are learning the approximate one okay so let's start the we have calculated there are three types of bars vertical bars stiffness ring helical ring and laps so let us start it first main vertical bars main vertical bars okay we'll write, uh, write the schedule main vertical bars are 20 dia at the rate 10 numbers it's given in the drawing okay if it's 20 dia so dia of bars obviously it is 20 the shape uh, we have uh, i had shown you the shape of bar here yeah here uh, you can make the shape in autocad uh, and cut the image and paste it over this block okay now the number of bars it's given there are 10 number of bars now we will calculate the length okay how we will calculate the length so length of one vertical bar will is equal to depth 15 minus 2 times cover 2 times 50 matlab 0 0.05 0 0.05 okay then uh, plus two times development length plus two times development length that is given uh, given as 0 0.3 meter okay we'll do enter so the total length of one bar is 15.5 so in total length of all the bars will be number of bars multiplied by length of one bar will get the total number of all bars in weight per meter ending result as p square l upon 162 weight per meter means weight for one meter of steel the formula will be d square l matlab d square where l is equal to one and d square is equal to dia d square l divided by 162 162 enter so here we have reached the value of 2.46 let's decrease the decimal part yeah so the total weight of all the bars are total length multiplied by the weight per meter so this is this is the total weight we get okay so number of piles it's shown over here so we'll directly go from here to here the total weight is equal to weight of all the bars in one pile into number of piles so this is the total weight of steel we get in kgs okay so we have used 20 mm bars over here so under 20 we'll write this value we'll shift this value so we have got 20 mm bars of total weight 57,000 approx so this is our first thing we'll note it down the second one that is the laps provided in this okay so we'll note it down as laps in main vertical bars so same if the laps are provided then the same 20 dia at the rate 10 numbers so we have calculated uh, we have calculated it earlier uh, like if the total number of bars is 
15.5 uh, meter and divided by 12 then there is a lap 1.25 around so we'll write one lap in each bar right over here okay so these are same because if laps are provided then they might be of uh, stop it sorry got this key the okay if the laps are provided then it is the same number one lap each means there are 10 number of laps the length of one lap is given as the 50d formula so we'll give as 50 into d means 20 this value comes in mm we'll convert it to meter while dividing by 1000 so the total length is equal to number of bars into length of one bar the weight per meter is calculated from the same formula okay the weight total weight uh, the weight per meter is calculated we have get the total weight is equal to total length into weight per meter then we'll also reduce this to two values okay so total number of piles is equal to 151 numbers total weight is equal to weight per meter uh, weight of one pile into 151 piles and here we have used 20 mm diameter so enter okay so the third point is the stiffness ring oh sorry stiffness ring okay so here the circumference of that ring is the formula for the circumference of the ring is pi d okay so we have we are using 16 dia at the rate 1.5 meter uh, sorry half meter center to center okay so the dia is 16 shape is circular with a d diameter and the number of bars is same with the formula length of the pile divided by center to center distance of stiffness ring plus one so we'll go from here length of pile uh, divided by center to center distance that is 1.5 um, then plus one plus one okay so here comes 11 then in length part the length of that stiffness ring is the circumference of that ring that is pi d plus the pitch of that ring so what is the value of pi 3.14 what is the value of d 0 0.75 and what is the value of pitch 0 0.15 so it is 3.14 that is the value of pi multiplied by the dia that is pi d plus we'll add pitch that is this one we'll enter it it's around 2.505 okay now we'll move forward with this same values total length is equal to this multiplied by this this we'll copy this we'll paste over here the values changes with the formula here the formula is d square where d is equal to 16 mm while calculating the weight total weight this multiplied by these for number of piles is equal to 151 this and for total weight it is this weight multiplied by number of piles we get the total weight here it is 16 mm so we'll write below 16 mm this one enter okay now the fourth one and the final one for today is the helical ring Oh God. Fourth one. Okay, now we'll give the details of the helical ring. The helical ring is 10 mm dia at the rate 150 mm center to center. Okay, so 10 mm dia, then number of bars. Okay, the same formula we will use over here like this will copy from here will paste over here and we'll do some corrections here it is 1.5 we will make it 0 0.15 because the center to center distance has been changed to 150 mm from 1.5 meter okay and the d 
12 we take it as 50 meter enter so there are 101 numbers of bars in helical ring okay so the length so here the length is the length of one helical ring is around uh, total length that is equal to the total length uh, 15 minus 2 times cover another 50 mm that is 2 times 0 0.05 okay minus 0 0.05 plus 2 times the closer ring I told you earlier also what is closer ring please listen it carefully 2 times the closer ring what is closer ring we have calculated it the dia the 0 0.6 meter I had uh, made you calculate before also so I am writing it directly 0 0.6 meter okay so we'll enter it it is 16.1 length then again the same procedure number of bars into length of one bar bit per meter we'll copy this we'll paste over here we'll uh, for total weight now we'll do this multiplied by weight per meter for number of piles we use 151 for total weight we multiply this with the number of piles now it is a 10 mm so we'll add this in the 10 mm chart okay so this is done with the piles of 15 meter height now your piles work is done 90 percent is done one you have once you have made a basic bar bending schedule of one pile you can copy this schedule and sh uh, just change a little bit values and the whole work is done now we'll uh, we'll just copy it okay uh, we'll copy from here control c we'll just paste over here in the uh, 15 meter we'll add 7.6 meter depth okay diameter will be same 15 meter instead of 15 we'll write uh, 7.6 meter depth the pitch will be same the numbers will differ so the numbers over uh, the, the piles provided under columns are counted and those are 60 so instead of 151 we'll write 60 over here okay so according to the changes over here the values have been changed here also so you might see the changes okay then after this we'll calculate uh, everything is done let me just highlight some things like this okay we have done with it everything is done because everything is similar in both the piles you have done with it okay now let me show you one thing why we have written in all these things right so we'll just sum up sorry at the end auto sum we have used 16 mm dia auto sum and we have used 20 mm dia oh sorry auto sum so these are the values which are in kg values in kg when we calculate values in ton then we just divide the upper value by thousand simple we'll just uh, sorry okay it's done so we have uh, for a requ steel requirement for this pile footing is 10 mm of 168 ton 16 mm of 8 ton and 20 mm of 75 ton so we have done with the power bending schedule of piles so if you like my video please like and subscribe it share it to your friends and thank you so much have a good day